Department of Collegiate and Technical Education welcomes you for learning and management system program first year BE common to all course engineering physics course code 18 PHY 12 bar 22 module 4 laser spot session 5 today's learning outcomes at the end of this session you are able to understand numericals on power of a laser beam, wavelength of a laser beam, energy gap of a semiconductor and population density. Power of a laser beam is nothing but energy of n number of photons that is n equals number of photons emitted per unit time whereas E is nothing but energy of each photon. Therefore, one can write equals n h nu equals n into h c by lambda where nu equals c by lambda and wavelength of a laser beam you know the energy expression from that one can reduce lambda equals h c by e energy gap of a semiconductor is nothing but amount of energy released during the recombination of electron with hole present in the valence band. When the electron recombines from conduction band to valence band, which emits energy in the form of electromagnetic wave, therefore we get expression E z equals H c by lambda. And population density N2 by N1 equals exponential minus H nu by kt. And you have some universal constant which helps you to solve the problems. Speed of light is 3 into 10 to the power of plus 8 meter per second whereas k equals Boltzmann constant equals 1.3 into 10 to the power of minus 23 joules per Kelvin h is the Planck's constant 6.62 pi into 10 to the power of minus 34 joules end. Now we go per numerical on power of a laser beam. A laser source emits 9.5 into 10 to the power of plus 16 photons in one second with the wavelength of 623 nanometer then the power of a laser source is we have to calculate to calculate power of a laser beam write down given data wavelength is given 623 into 10 to the power of minus 9 meter number of photons emitted per second that is 9.5 into 10 to the power of plus 16 photons per second and power of a laser beam that we have to determine we know the we know the expression for power of a laser beam equals n into e where n is the number of photons e is the energy of a each photon e equals n into h c by lambda where nu equals c by lambda therefore we get this expression substituting all the data in the above expression we get like this the answer is 0.0303 watt therefore one can write power equals 30.3 milliwatt this is the power of a laser beam when it when it emits 9.5 into 10 to the power of plus 16 photon in one second with the wavelength of 623 nanometer numerical on wavelength of a laser beam a laser source emits 20.6 into 10 to the power of plus 17 photons per minute when it is operated with an output power of 12 milliwatt. Then the wavelength of a laser beam is here the source emits 20.6 into 10 to the power of plus 17 photons per minute. Here he is given the number of photons emitted per minute that we have to convert into a second. Then only one can calculate easily wavelength of a laser beam from the definition uh, so first you write the given data power equals uh, 12 milliwatt you write prefix per milli as 10 to the power of minus 3 number of photons emitted per minute this much and wavelength of a laser beam is we have to calculate from the definition the expression for power of a laser beam p equals n into e here n is the number of photons emitted per second and e is the energy of each photon one can get p equals n, n into hc by lambda lambda equals 
in hc by p from the data number of photons emitted per second is n equals capital n by 60 60 is nothing but number of seconds per minute here 20.6 into 10 to the power of plus 17 photons per minute here we get 0.34 into 10 to the power of plus 17 photons per second substituting all the data in equation 3 we get 0.34 into 10 to the power of plus 17 and the Planck's constant and speed of light and power of a laser beam after simplifying we get like this and final answer is 5.631 into 10 to the power of minus 7 meter this we convert into nanometer 563.1 into 10 to the power of minus 9 meter this is the wavelength of a laser beam next numerical on energy gap of a semiconductor the semiconducting material with energy gap of 2.42 electron volt is connected to a forward bias then the wavelength of a laser beam is we have to calculate we here is given the energy gap of a semiconductor is about 2.42 electron volt is connected to forward bias then what is the wavelength of laser beam emitted in this semiconductor that we calculate is given energy gap 2.42 electron volt converting into joule 2.42 into 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 you get 3.872 into 10 to the power of minus 19 joule wavelength we have to calculate from the definition we have expression for energy gap of your semiconductor eg equals h nu h c by lambda after cross multiplying we get lambda equals h c by e z substituting all the data in the equation number 9 we get 6.625 into 10 to the power of minus 34 and 3 into 10 to the power of plus 8 and energy gap value is 3.872 into 10 to the power of minus 19 after simplifying we get like this and final answer is 5.133 into 10 to the power of minus 7 meter and we express in terms of nanometer 513.3 into 10 to the power of minus 9 meter that is nanometer this is the wavelength of laser beam emitted in the semiconducting material having the energy gap of 2.42 electron volt numerical on population density a system produces a wavelength of 618 nanometer through spontaneous emission at the temperature of 300 kelvin then the population density in the system is here we are going to determine how the number of atoms distributed between the lower energy level and higher energy level that we are going to determine here the wavelength of photon emitted through spontaneous emission he is given 618 nanometer at 300 kelvin this is the temperature we know the expression for population density n2 by n1 equals exponential minus h nu by kt so we know the expression for nu e to the power of minus h c by lambda kt substituting the data in an above equation we get exponential minus Planck's constant and speed of light and wavelength Boltzmann constant and temperature upon simplification we get like this and the final answer is 1.53 into 10 to the power of minus 36 the final answer is 1.53 into 10 to the power of minus 36 this is the photon density that means number of atoms in excited level is lesser than number of atoms present in ground state that means always number of atoms in higher energy level lesser than number of atoms present in the ground state Another problem on population density, the population density between the system of two levels is 1.5 pi, pi into 10 to the power of minus 31 at 320 Kelvin. If the atom decays spontaneously, the wavelength of photon is, we have to calculate population density, we know the expression, 
n2 by n1 equals 1.5 pi pi into 10 to the power of minus 37, 31, sorry, the temperature 320 Kelvin. Then we have to determine the wavelength of photon during its spontaneous emission that we need to calculate from the definition n2 by n1 equals e to the power of minus h nu by kt uh, upon substitution of nu we get e to the power of minus hc by lambda kt taking ln on both the side to cancel exponent term in above equation therefore we get ln n2 by n1 equals minus hc by lambda kt lambda equals minus hc by kt times ln n2 by n1 substituting all the terms here substituting Planck's constant, speed of light, Boltzmann constant, temperature and population density we get like this and the final answer is 6.7327 into 10 to the power of minus 7 expressing in terms of meter, nanometer we get 673.27 nanometer this is a wavelength emitted between the energy levels during its spontaneous decay at 320 Kelvin. Thank you.